Alaska is one of the most valuable territories of the United States, both economically and in terms of natural resources. For the same reason, it is really unthinkable that Russia would have decided to cede this region without much questioning. Today, Brainbox tells you why the Russians sold Alaska to the United States in a lousy deal. This territory, which borders the Arctic Ocean, is home to more than 700,000 people, has a gross domestic product greater than that of Costa Rica or Croatia, is the second largest producer of crude oil in the United States, and to top it all off, the airport in Anchorage, the state capital, is one of the most important strategic cargo points in the world. But to understand the Russians' mistake in selling this territory, we must also look at how they got there in the first place. After it was discovered by the famous sailor Vitus Jonasson Bering, his surname inspired the name of the strait that separates Alaska from Russia, the Slavs took advantage of their imperialistic and expansive eagerness and decided to make a homeland in the cold landscapes of the southern coast of the region. In 1784, the first permanent human settlements were built in Alaska, specifically on the island of Kodiak. Soon after, the Russians founded the town of Sitka and made it the capital of Russian America between 1808 and 1867. However, barely 50 years after settling in Alaska, Tsar Alexander II began to lose interest in the American territory. And at that moment, a tremendously important character in the history of the region took advantage of his opportunity, and he carried out one of the most important annexations in the history of the United States. Brainbox tells you how it all came about. The Russians never thought that Alaska would be even worse than Siberia. In addition to the cold and humidity, it was a territory that was scarce in food and far away from civilization. So William Seward, U.S. Secretary of State at the time, decided to offer the Russians $7 million for the territory, an offer that was accepted. Yet, the gamble paid off. Thanks to the gold reserves, the canning industry that developed there and advances in public works, the U.S. earned a hundred times more from Alaska than it spent for it in less than 50 years. In addition, the country expanded its sovereignty to the north, blockaded the British in Canada, and jumped headlong into the fight for control of the Arctic. To Brainbox, it's clear, Russia must be very regretful.